Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 36 week. Oh, oh my god. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 36 week pregnancy update. I actually had to restart the intro to this video already once because I literally said, Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my 36 week. And then as soon as I said 36 week, my um I had lightning crotch. Like literally it took my breath away and I was like like, I had to, like, literally stop what I was saying. Um, but yeah, welcome to 36 weeks. And that is what happens when you are at this end of the pregnancy. I have been completely, completely, completely exhausted. Um, mentally, physically, I just feel like I need to sleep forever until this little girl comes at this point. Um, my body is screaming at me to, like, take it slow, which I have been. Um, but it's definitely time to start relaxing, um, not going far at all. I feel like I'm not going to make it to July 6th at this point. Like, I just feel like it's not going to happen. Um, I've had so many, so many early signs of labor and I don't know. I just, it's been like a lot to over. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in because... It's been so much. It's been such a crazy week and I have so much to fill you guys in on, on the maternal fetal medicine um, appointment I had and everything like that. So we'll just jump right into symptoms and the uh, maternal fetal medicine appointment. So I went to my maternal fetal medicine appointment. Um, it was supposed to be the last one and it wasn't the last one. Um, the, when they checked the babies, um, growth she is growing perfectly i think i might have told you guys that at 35 weeks um that she's growing perfectly and she was six pounds four ounces and she is perfect in every way and the only problem that they saw was that my amniotic fluid around her wasn't where it has been in the past um so since she has the um multi-cystic dysplastic kidney they really um, monitor the amniotic fluid around her because that determines how much she's drinking and how much she's peeing out in fetus. So it wasn't where it was. She, the doctor did reassure me and let me know that it was fine because it wasn't bad enough where like they needed to take me um, right away. But they wanted me to go back um, and check it out to see if it improved. He did say that it could have been because of the weather. Um, it's very hot here right now. It's like humid, muggy, disgusting. Um, so he was thinking that I was probably just extremely dehydrated. And when he asked me if I was drinking as much water as I should, I honest, I was honest with him and I told him, no, probably not as much as I should have been drinking, knowing that it was hot out. So I went home, guzzled tons and tons and tons of water, like so much water. And I went back um, a few days later and everything is a-okay. She said that, um, her amniotic fluid was perfect and on the, uh, ultrasound, they also showed me that Ellie is practicing her breathing, which they were very happy with. Uh, they said that she's doing a really good job with it so far and it was actually really awesome to see because I've never seen that before and with Adeline, we never went and got ultrasounds this late in pregnancy. So it was really awesome to see her practicing her breathing and it wasn't like a heartbeat like they're so tiny and their heartbeats are like do 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 like that. Her breathing was like this. It was real slow but like it was like perfect I guess to an ultrasound tech. So everything was perfect. Everything was good. She also mentioned in my um, ultrasound she said do you see this uh, white stuff all over her head. And I was like, yeah. And he, she was like, that is all her hair. She was like, she has so much hair. So I am super excited that she's going to have a whole bunch of hair because um, Adeline had a lot. I think at least Adeline had a lot of hair. So I'm really curious to see how much Ellie's going to have. If she's going to have the same amount of Adeline um, or the same amount that Adeline had. Or if she's going to have more than what Adeline had. So it was just really exciting to hear that. I did tear up at the minute that... I don't even know why that she told me that she had hair. I think because it brought me like just so much closer to her, like to finally get to like meet her, see her. Um, I cried. I literally could not help it. Um, I wasn't like bawling, but like I had little tears. So it was really fun uh, going to that ultrasound. Actually, I was glad that I got to do it. 
And they were also going to try the 3D on her this time. And um, Ellie was looking this way um, towards the inside of my belly. So they wouldn't have even been able to do it. But it was nice that they were at least going to try. And then the big thing at the um, appointment, which was really, really, really exciting to hear. Um, and it gave me a little bit more hope in these last final weeks. Um, they said uh, the ultrasound tech was doing the ultrasound on me. And she was like, wow. She's like, um, did anybody tell you what position she's in? And I was like, no. They were like, she's transverse right now. So I was like, oh my God. So now she is sideways. Her head is here and her butt is over here. So I'm really hoping they want me to go back one more time this upcoming week to see if, um, how my amniotic fluid is. I don't know why they want me to go back, but they just want to check one more time, um, which I'm totally fine with. I'm going to keep chugging my water and go back get checked one more time um and i'm hoping praying to god that they tell me that she flipped but i'm not getting my hopes up um but we're just gonna pray that she flipped i actually think that i'm gonna make an appointment for the chiropractor one more time before i go back wednesday because what if like there's like a chance that she can flip between now and wednesday i might go back just to see what they can do okay awesome thank you so much i appreciate it Bye-bye. So I just hung up the phone with the chiropractors. <laughs> They're going to try to fit me in today because I literally just thought of that. I was like, this might be my chance to go. If I have like one more shot at flipping this little girl, this might be it. So um, I am going to hopefully get a call back that they can squeeze me in and we'll see if she flips or not. So I've had tons and tons of Brick Brixton, Braxton hats. Braxton Hicks, Braxton Hicks contractions, like nonstop this week. It has been just so, uh, so much tightening around my belly. Like I feel like I can't breathe when I get these. It actually like sucks the wind out of you, where you're like, <sighs> like it, you have to take in like deep breaths, um, when you get them, just because it like it swipes you right off your feet. But I've been getting tons and tons of bricks. Oh my god. Braxton I am Hicks. extremely hot nonstop. I am just a boiling bag of hot water at this point. No matter what I do, I just cannot get comfortable. I cannot cool my body temperature down. Um, I've been sleeping at night with absolutely no blankets just because I am tossing and turning all night because I'm so hot. And speaking of sleeping at night, I'm just so uncomfortable. It's like, it is unimaginable, like how uncomfortable I am. So I'm just so ready for that part of pregnancy to be done. I'm going to truly, truly miss being pregnant. But like the the being hot and not being comfortable part of pregnancy is not comfortable. So that is the part that I can't wait to have my body back. And just be able to like roll in and out of bed. Be able to sleep whatever direction I want. On my stomach, on my back. I can't like get comfortable anywhere at this point. I am nowhere near as swollen as I was with Adon too. That was something that I wanted to make a point of the difference in these two pregnancies is that with Adeline, I was so, so swollen. I couldn't even get my wedding rings on at th this point. Like this point, I was like just a balloon um, of water. And like, I literally couldn't like feel my feet half the time because of how swollen I was. And this time I am completely fine with the swollen. Like, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I have drinking a lot more water this pregnancy um, compared to Adeline. But it's just so weird how I'm not um, swollen like I was with her. My shoes fit. My shoes did not fit with Adeline at all. And I'm just like completely fine with everything. It's so weird. Something else that I want to point out, which is really weird with these two pregnancies, is that at 37 weeks with Adeline, I went to the hospital because I was having real um, contractions, like straight real contractions. And I went to the hospital and they told me to tell Mike to come and they did all the testing and everything. And then they pumped me and pumped me with liquids and then I was completely fine. My contractions went away. They said I was extremely dehydrated, which was causing the contractions. So I thought that was really weird that um, with this pregnancy at 36 weeks, I was dehydrated. With Adeline at 37, I was dehydrated. So maybe this is just the time in my pregnancy that my body just like really like sucks away all the water. 
Um, but that is weird that around the same exact time with Adeline and now Ellie, I've been dehydrated two times. I notice when I'm in the shower and I'm washing my hair, my hair is so thick. Like, so, so, so thick. And I remember at the end with Adeline as well, my hair got really thick. And then even after Adeline is when my hair grew like a weed. Um, so I'm really hoping that that happens again this time that my hair grows. Um, I'm so scared to get that postpartum hair loss again. That sucks. That is the worst part of po postpartum is um, losing the little baby hairs right here. Um, so I, there's nothing I could do to prevent it, but it, that's just going to suck because my hair is like getting so thick and everything. Um, but that just comes with, you know, postpartum. I know I've said this before too, but my reflux is so, so bad. I have thrown up in my mouth probably like 30 times and it is disgusting and I'm so sick and tired of feeling it, tasting it, everything is just completely gross at this part of pregnancy. Um, and it's honestly every time I bend over, which really sucks because I have a three-year-old and I have to bend over all the time with her. So I'm just nonstop like throwing up. It's disgusting. I had to get my water in. I had a comment on one of my uh, last videos that I really wanted to answer. And it was actually a really great question. But I can't find the exact comment where it went. But somebody asked me if I felt larger um, in the morning or at night or after I ate. And I definitely, definitely felt, I feel tinier in the morning. And then after I eat, I feel huge. Like I cannot fit anything in my stomach. And then definitely for sure at night, I feel like I weigh a thousand pounds. I am just so heavy and I can't breathe at night. I literally, oh, that's something else that I want to tell you guys, which goes with like body. I feel like my boobs are sitting on my belly. Like I have to like sit some days like this because I literally just feel like I cannot move my belly is still so high up um and actually we had my baby sprinkle this weekend too and it was absolutely beautiful and amazing like it was such such a nice day and it was just such a breath of fresh air after everything with the coronavirus um I got to see all my friends all my family it was so 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 nice it was the most amazing amazing day um but my one of my friends came and she's pregnant she's due the day after i'm due and she is just so much lower than me she's having a boy too but her belly is just so much more farther down than where mine is mine is literally right here and down um which is just so weird because you know we're literally a day apart and uh hers is just already dropped like so so low and i feel like mine has dropped and actually a few of you guys have mentioned that you thought my belly has dropped as well so it's just so so crazy to me how like we're due a day apart but like how i feel like she's ready to explode any day and i'm still like way up high so it's just it's so funny how things work um let me show you guys a bump shot and then we'll head on out Okay, so here is my week 37 Auntie. bump update. Uh, Hi, baby. Are you ready to be a big sissy? No. No? Oh, yeah. oh yes. <laughs> Were you just kidding? Yeah. I love you. Huh? Yeah. This is my view all the time. Right here. Hold on. Okay. But this is my belly. I am like ready, 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 ready. I feel like, like there's no denying it anymore and this uh, dress is not a maternity dress it's from target um but it fits if it's a little short uh because the bump is definitely taking up a lot of room but it works and it's comfy for around the house it's like perfect but that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button thumbs up Thumbs and up. Eat, eat. <laughs> and they say eat seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, and I will see you guys on Friday, Wednesday, and Friday this week for another video. Bye.